Boom, welcome back, you guys. All right, so I have a little book review for y'all. The book is called Super Normal by Dean Radin, PhD. Now, I've already done one book review of his called Real Magic. It's a great book. This is a very similar book. Both of these books are wonderful. Real Magic is essentially this guy, PhD researcher and scientist. He's going through all the studies and meta-analysis on magic or psychic abilities and then kind of comparing that to the magical traditions of the West and Europe. And that's a very, very useful book that shows a lot of amazing studies. This is one he wrote just before that that I finally read. And this is essentially looking at yoga and all of the things that yoga says are possible and trying to actually study these things scientifically. And it's really, really amazing. Um, the stuff that he has pulled out in this book. So the first hundred pages or so is kind of a little bit of just like setting up the foundation for yoga, for the idea of psych psychic abilities or siddhis, which is what they're called in the yoga world. Siddhi, uh, this, this word means like perfection or like a power of perfection. Um, and in yoga philosophy, the psychic abilities are not really the goal. And that's the difference from the magical tradition. And what's really cool is that Dean Radin knows this and talks about this. And this guy's a really hip and aware yogi. And he, he refers to all kinds of, you know, great yogis in this book too, like Ramana Maharshi and Yogananda. And this guy knows his stuff. He does meditation on his own. And yet at the same time, he's got a PhD and has been studying all this stuff really in depth for a long, long time. He was involved in studies with the government actually studying psychic abilities even early on and then he started doing his own and has his own institute now where he, where he does this stuff. Now basically after the after that first kind of little bit of introduction of like what yoga is to make sure everyone's on the same power same page like what are the cities what do they claim to be he starts really going through modern science and just being like okay this city of psychokinesis or you know this ability let's look into it let's look into clairvoyance let's look into this and it's so cool because he literally brings up the you know the quotes from the yoga sutras um yeah or you know here it's uh knowledge of previous births and arising of future births. This is a, a, a city resulting from samyana on one's Latin or inheritance tendencies. Um, then, you know, knowledge of minds resulting from samyana on one's own mind or on another one's mind. Um, this is basically the same thing he's pointing out as telepathy, you know, and so he's got data that's actually proven that this is possible. This, um like, you know, the sadhana pada, he literally like, goes through like chapters and, and parts of the yoga sutras and analyzes them in a wonderful scientific way that I've never seen done before. And the sun's coming out for the first time this morning. It's like an omen of uh, how cool this book is. This book really, if the scientific community could just be forced to like download this book into their mind, wow, like my life would get a lot easier. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and he explains all the little, all the reasons why the scientific community is being very hypocritical and trying to ignore all of this. And um, he, he really just does a wonderful, wonderful example of like why things are the way they are in the scientific world. He gives a lot of great commentary on that in a funny and like entertaining way. I mean, you can see I like wore the spine out on this book. So I had a blast just reading it in my backyard and stuff over the summer. Um, one of my favorite things in this book, he talks about it in the Real Magic book as well, but one of the coolest things that he found in here, and I'm not going to be able to give you all the details of it off the top of my mind, but they study, one of the studies they mention is where they can uh, rapidly uh, show, like they show, they can show a person all these different images that are, um, have a different degree of emotionality that's been standardized, you know, an image that would generally cause you to be excited or feel nothing or feel calm or whatever. And what they did was they, they had people's eyes all hooked up in sciencey ways and then they basically show you an image and your eyes will, like your involuntary nervous system, your, your pupils will dilate or contract or these different things showing your reaction or your excitement or your fear or whatever of an image. This is just something that happens to all of us. What they found was that if they 
rapidly flashed like one image uh, say one image is a tree one image is a car if they rapidly flash the image of the tree at a rate that your mind can't consciously see um, beforehand then your mind is more likely to want to choose that tree over the car even though these were both completely like normal normal things and they did this to such a degree that it had such a high statistical significance saying that basically what this would imply is that it's how karma works like our mind is just gonna choose what it's more comfortable with what it has had flashed ahead of time to it what it has sort of a little bit more of a familiarity with our mind will just choose that uh, as opposed to the other thing and this kind of shows why when we read a birth chart say you've got a you know some crazy affliction in your chart and you attract angry you know abusive partners into your life and you think that's normal but you go to an, you go to me as an astrologer and you're like I'm like oh your relationship look kind of intense how that how's that going right now and you're like oh everything's fine and then like 10 minutes later you tell me how your boyfriend like bashed the window out of your car because he was angry and you needed to drive your car or something like whoa that is not fine you know but in their mind that just seems normal because that's where their karma is at that's what's been flashing to their mind and that's so they just choose it because it seems like what they should be choosing i hope that makes sense but uh this this book explains it in a real more technical clear-cut manner and another study they showed was that your mind is literally going to react like your people so they'll they'll, they'll show you um a neutral image that just shouldn't make any reaction on your mind and then they'll flash a then they'll show you like a scary image a violent image you know and they will flash that rapidly before you're able to consciously see it and your pupils will already start to dilate or contract or react to the image before you've seen it so they have proven precognition and what's interesting is that they found that this varied on the individual so some people were not very good at this and then other people were very good at this then they looked at people who meditate so then they found that people who meditated regularly were better at this and literally had more precognition and so what's really cool is a lot of stuff that is mentioned in the yoga sutras just seems too outlandish to believe but this book shows that well we picked up random people off the street and had them volunteer for a study and they actually even had minor differences of improvement or you know minor effects being felt so then they go and they get Tibetan Buddhists who have done this like their whole lives and they rig them up and wire them up and see like way higher results and so it's just a really fun book you know if you're into science and studies and yoga and meditation and understanding a little bit more about the science behind some of these concepts you need to get this book it's a very good um, Mercury Jupiter kind of book we might say Dean Radin even has a website where you can test your own psychic abilities on his website and I've had some fun doing that myself too so that's that's another thing just check out this guy he's a great resource and I want more people to know about this book alright thanks you guys take care five stars for this one